Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Christina, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my math curriculum picks for the 2025-2026 school year, which is crazy to me because if you've been around, you know that I am never this early with curriculum picks. I never have my curriculum picks this early. There's times that I'm picking things at the beginning of the school year based on where we left off. However, there is a brand new release from the company that we have been using for math. And so I was so excited to get my hands on it and see it. And the other reason I'm really excited about it is because it is extending a grade up in math that they didn't have before. And I've been like hoping and praying that it was going to come out in time so that we didn't have to switch math curriculum for my 13 year old. And so I'm so excited to announce, if you haven't seen it yet, the release of Math 8 from The Good and the Beautiful. And this is pre-algebra. I'm really excited because last year they released Level 7 and I was so thankful. We are actually getting ready to start Level 7 soon. We actually haven't started it yet because we realized that we needed to really take some time and review some concepts. This was not a result of using The Good and the Beautiful. This was from some gaps from public school and private school and COVID and like all of the things and just not feeling the need or the pressure to rush through or stay like on the level that matches up with his grade level. And that's something that I've really gotten more comfortable with with all of my children. So as I go through the math curriculum choices that I have for next year, I want you to keep that in mind and just know that it's okay and it's really best to move at our children's own pace. The other reason why I wanted to share these curriculum choices with you is because we'll actually be starting them, some of them, um, like by the end of this school year or the beginning of the summertime because we're not like starting and stopping our curriculum at like the typical school year. We just go until we're done with the curriculum and then we pick up with the next level as soon as we're done. So I got this big box of curriculum in from The Good and the Beautiful. I figured if I was getting Math 8 for my 13 year old, I would just get all of the math curriculum out of the way and I actually am so glad that I decided to do that. So I'm gonna start with Math 8 and then just work backwards um, and kind of explain as I go. So, like I said, this is Math 8 Pre-Algebra from The Good and the Beautiful. And so as you can see, I kind of like, they did this with Math 7 as well, if you haven't seen that yet. They have a, like it's broken up into four different course books instead of being like one giant book, which I really like. And so there's Unit 1. I'll just give you a little bit of a sneak peek. I like that there's still some color. There's still some aesthetically pleasing stuff there, but you can tell that the curriculum is maturing with the level. So I like that it's still visually appealing, but maturing along. And so you have your four different course books. Of course, in the beginning, you will find your scope and sequence. And then all in one book are your answers and solutions for the entire course. So just as has been the case the last few years for math for us, for the good and the beautiful with my 13 year old, it is a video lesson, which I love because I do not love teaching math at this level. Like I just don't. I love doing it with the younger ages, but when it gets to this level, I do not love it. So I'm there to provide support if and when it's needed, but I feel like the lessons are so well done, but then they're also described, like the video lessons are so well done, but then they're also described right in the course book. And then they have their answers and solutions. So at this point, my 13 year old is like completely independent with his math. And so I'm glad to have this ready to go for him when he's ready to move on to that level. Now, I'm estimating he's probably going to start that a few months or more into the school year, maybe even like halfway through the year next year. And he would technically be a ninth grader if he was in public school. And that's how I'm reporting him grade level wise to our district. However, I think for him to be doing this level eight pre-algebra from the good and the beautiful, I feel completely comfortable with that and have no issues with that whatsoever. I feel no need or no pressure to rush through. Along those same lines, my nine-year-old who will be 10 in the summer and then technically a fifth grader will be doing math four from the good and the beautiful. We are actually not, prob again, probably going to be starting this until a couple months into the school year, maybe the beginning of the school year, depending on how quickly we get through um, everything else. But I'm excited for her because it's actually kind of hard for me, but this will actually be her first 
year, her, her first math curriculum, getting a video lesson. That's like, I don't know, it feels like a huge deal for me because I usually do her math with her. And I'm sure in the beginning I will still, like I'll watch the video with her and it will be like a slow release. So I love how they do transition them to be more independent, which is super helpful, especially if you have multiple children, if you have younger children. However, I definitely plan to kind of slowly release the support and still watch over her math much more heavily than I am like with my 13 year old who's been doing this for years now. So it still looks much like the other courses. So I feel like that familiarity and comfort with like the structure and the style of the curriculum and the lots of visual aspects will make it a very easy transition for her that the only thing that's really changing is she's getting a video lesson. And like I said, I'll still be walking her through that in the beginning and then as she feels comfortable and as I feel she's ready, kind of letting her do that on her own. The other thing that is new though will also be the mental math. And so this is really cool because you do this with them and so I really enjoyed this when my when my 13 year old was on level five in math I really enjoyed this because this was something that we still did together um and so this is really good because it teaches them to do math in their head and there's like a little maze in the back they get to like put the stickers together and it ends in a story so I really do love the mental math aspect of these higher like upper elementary grade levels from the good and the beautiful and then of course it comes with the answer key um, so that I can check, but then also um, if I want her to be able to check certain things, I'll have her be familiar with using this as well. The only other level was math one. And so this will be for my six-year-old and my five-year-old. However, we are just getting ready to start the kindergarten level. As the same time that I'm saying that, because we've really taken our time and not pushed like lots of formal academics in the early years with them, and it has actually been such a smart decision, and they've done so well because they love learning, they get so excited about it, and they're re I'm really starting to see things click for them, which is huge. I've kept them at the same level so far, and I've explained this in previous videos, but a lot of the things are like review they might be like review for my six-year-old where they'll be like new learning or um a little bit of review for my five-year-old but for my six-year-old it's like mastery at this point and it's really helping to build his confidence and also like he loves helping his little sister so i'll keep them together as long as i can until i think it's not best for them anymore if and when that happens and so one thing that I noticed when I was going through the kindergarten math curriculum, though, is because of all of the other ways that I learn with them and they practice math concepts and games and like all of these different things, baking and just real life math, I think they're going to fly through Math K or at least the beginning of it. So I will keep you guys posted. I'm interested to kind of see how that goes. But whenever we are done with that, whenever that is, we will be moving into math level one. And so... The beautiful, like I said, aesthetically pleasing, engaging lessons that are parent led, but completely open and go, which I absolutely love and I'm so thankful for. Um, all of those aspects that we know and, the know and love from Simply Good and Beautiful Math from the Good and the Beautiful and their beautiful math boxes. I'm going to crack this open so that if you're not familiar with their math boxes or you just haven't seen level one, you can get a peek at it. So it looks like there are some tangrams in here and some clockwork, some type of die, and then some change, and then another clock under here. So I love that they come with manipulatives. Um, I love that we'll be able to just kind of seamlessly move from one level to the next whenever we are ready. I'm really excited that I have math figured out. If you haven't noticed, or maybe you have, there isn't math here for my oldest because he's a senior this year. And it makes me sick to my stomach to even say it, but he is still currently working through consumer math from Not Consumed Ministries, which we are really happy with. It is real life math, a real world application, the perfect, I think, math um, for him at this point in the game. So yeah, 
those are our choices for math next year. Let me know if you have math picked out for next year, if you've used any of these levels that I've shared, and I'm so excited to share with you guys along the way how we're liking it and all of those things. If you have any questions, just drop them down in the comments and I will answer them. For links to all of this, just check the description box below. And I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos. Until next time, stay rooted.